L, the iconic detective from the manga and anime series Death Note. L is known for his exceptional intelligence and analytical skills. And in this video, we will be exploring some of the techniques and strategies that he uses to solve complex cases and outsmart his opponents. Whether you are a fan of the series or you are just looking to improve your own problem solving skills, we hope you will find this video helpful and informative. So sit back, relax and let's learn how to think like L. To think like L, the enigmatic and highly intelligent detective from the popular manga and anime series Death Note, one must first understand his unique approach to problem solving and decision making. At the heart of L's thought process is his incredible analytical ability. He is able to break down complex situations into their component parts and examine each piece carefully, searching for clues and patterns that others might miss. This analytical approach is aided by his exceptional logical skills, which allows him to draw sound conclusions from the information he gathers. Now how can you develop or improve your analytical abilities too? The first way to do so is practice problem solving. One of the best way to improve your analytical skills is to practice problem solving on a regular basis. This could be through puzzles, brain teasers or real life scenarios. The more you practice, the better you will become at analyzing and solving problems. Learn to think critically. Developing critical thinking skill can help you analyze information more effectively. This means questioning assumptions, considering different perspectives and evaluating evidence. Pay attention to detail. Analyzing data and information often requires attention to detail. Practice focusing on small details and noticing patterns or trends. The fourth one is break down complex problems. Complex problems can be intimidating, but they can be made more manageable by breaking them down into smaller, more manageable pieces. Practice breaking down complex problems into smaller parts and solving them one step at a time. And the last one is of course keep learning. The more you will learn, the more tools you will have to draw upon when it comes to analyzing and solving problems. Make an effort to learn new things on a regular basis. By incorporating these strategies into your daily routine, you will be well on your way to improving your analytical abilities. In addition to this analytical and logical ability, L is also known for his relentless dedication to solving cases. He is willing to put in long hours and go to great lengths to uncover the truth, no matter how difficult or dangerous the task may be. This determination is fueled by his strong sense of justice, which drives him to seek out and bring wrongdoers to justice. In short for L, his sense of justice is nothing but a purpose that he wants to fulfill and give criminals what they deserve. If you have a life purpose, then you are already one step further than 99% of the people in this world. But if you don't, here are a few simple ways you can find yours. The first one is reflect on your values. What is important to you? What do you stand for? By understanding your values, you can begin to identify your purpose. The second way is consider your passion. What are you passionate about? What activities or causes give you energy and fulfillment? Your passion can often be a strong indicator of your purpose. The third one is think about your unique strength. What are you naturally good at? Just sit and think about it. How can you use your strength to make a positive impact on the world? The fourth one is consider your life experiences. What experiences have shaped you and made you who you are today? How can you use those experiences to guide you in finding your purpose? The fifth and the last one is be open to new opportunities. Do not be afraid to try new things and take risks, especially if you are young. You never know what might lead you to your purpose. Remember though, finding your purpose is a journey and it may take time and exploration. Be patient with yourself and keep an open mind as you search for your path. Another key aspect of L's thought process is his ability to think creatively and outside the box. He is not afraid to consider unconventional ideas and approaches and is willing to take risks if it means getting closer to the truth. This flexibility of thoughts allows him to come up with innovative solutions to even the most complex problems. To truly think like L, it is also very important to cultivate a strong sense of observation and attention to detail. L is known for his keen eye and ability to notice even the smallest discrepancies or inconsistencies. This helps him to spot clues that others might miss and to build a more complete picture of the case he is working on. In terms of decision making, L is also known for being careful and measured thinker. He takes the time to weight all of the available options before making a decision and is not swayed by his emotions or outside pressure. 
This level-headed approach allows him to make sound decisions that are based on logic and evidence, rather than impulsivity or bias. Making decisions can be very challenging, especially when emotions are involved. It's natural to feel anxious or uncertain when faced with a difficult situation, and it is very easy to let our emotions cloud our judgment. However, even if you want to think like L or not, it's important to find ways to make decisions without being swayed by our emotions. Here are some free tips to making some rational and emotion-free decisions. First one is take a step back. If you are feeling overwhelmed by the strong emotion, it can be helpful to take a step back and give yourself some time to calm down before making a decision. This can help you gain perspective and approach the situation more objectively. The second one is practice mindfulness. Being mindful means being present in the moment and paying attention to your thoughts and feelings without judgment. This can help you gain perspective and make more balanced decisions. A simple way to achieving mindfulness is by doing simple meditation or focusing on your breath. The third one is consider the consequences. When making a decision, it can be helpful to think about the potential consequences of each option. This can help you to make a more rational decision based on what will be the most beneficial in the long run. The fourth one is seek inputs from others. It can be helpful to get inputs from others, such as friends, but most of the times I avoid taking advice from friends. You can take advice from your family or a mentor if you have one. By doing this, you will get to know their perspective. They may be having a different perspective that can help you see things more clearly. The next way is write down the pros and cons. Making a list of pros and cons of each option can help you weight the options more objectively and make a decision based on the logic rather than emotions. The sixth one is trust yourself. Ultimately, you are the one who has to live with the decision you make. So just trust yourself to make the right choice for you. Making decisions without being swayed by emotions requires practice and self-awareness. It's okay to have emotions, but try to let your reason and logic guide your decision-making process. By following these steps, you will be able to make a more rational and emotion-free decision like L. Now, in conclusion, to think like L, one must cultivate strong analytical abilities and logical skills, a relentless dedication to solving problems, a willingness to think creatively and take risks, a strong sense of observation, and a level-headed approach to decision-making. While it may not be easy to fully emulate L's thought process, but by working on these skills and qualities, one can improve their ability to approach problems in a similar way. It is also helpful to have a strong support system of like-minded individuals who can provide guidance and encouragement as one works to develop their problem-solving skills. This could include friends and mentors or even online communities of like-minded individuals who share a passion for solving complex issues. Finally, it is important to remember that no one is perfect and even L himself makes mistakes from time to time. The key is to learn from those mistakes and continue to strive for improvement. By staying focused, dedicated and open-minded, one can continue to grow and develop their thinking skills and become more like the enigmatic and highly intelligent detective known as L. What are your thoughts about this video? On a scale of 1 to 10, how much are you already thinking like L? Let me know answer to these things in the comment section down below and also don't forget to check out my other videos over here. And that's it for today's video guys if you enjoyed then don't forget to like this video and share this video with your death note fans. Also subscribe to this youtube channel for more regular anime content from my youtube channel. And that's it and I will see you in the next one. Sayonara.